Today is Monday. I just got out the gym. This week, this week, you guys are gonna like this week, especially if you're a business owner, because I'm gonna be talking about hot takes in business that nobody talks about. And the reason why nobody talks about them is because business owners don't want customers to find out this information. But if you are a business owner, you're gonna appreciate this because you're gonna understand where I'm coming from. And if you're a customer, you're also gonna appreciate this because you're gonna understand how certain business or entrepreneurs think, right? You're gonna appreciate it because you're gonna realize where they're coming from and how they operate certain things. So stay tuned for that. I, I think this this is gonna be, this might get me in trouble, but I'm not big enough yet, so I can say certain things. And I'm gonna lay it out all out there for you guys. So stay tuned, happy Monday. Let's get out of the gym, gotta go home, shower, eat, and get ready to do a few things. This is what separates us. This is what separates Talk and Fix Wireless with other stores. Like, we truly care to satisfy every client. And like I said, it is a lot of clients and sometimes a few might slip through the cracks, but I can guarantee you that it's not intentional. It's that it's a lot, right? It's it's a lot to handle, it's a lot to do. And, and trust me, one client is too many clients. I don't want any clients to feel that we didn't attend to their needs. But you know, if it ever does happen, just be patient and we're here to satisfy your needs. Uh, Run it, run it through my attention, run it through the employee's attention, and I'm pretty sure that, that we're doing the right things and we wanna take care of your issues. Something ever happens, don't feel that we're not trying to accommodate you by all means, it's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot that happens. It's five stores, a lot of demands. It's been here. I brought him an iPhone 15 screen. The phone is a 15 Pro. Pliny's phone today. What's the name? And you have it, right? Easily. In stock. We have it in stock. Get to this. Ah, you say you want fire, man. I fire. No, you need to not talk in the telephone, man. How do you talk in the We just purchased 20 iPhone 12 Pro Maxes. Got a few here. 20 iPhone 12 Pro Maxes. We're gonna distribute them to the stores this week. If you're looking for a 12 Pro Max, make sure to stop by our store. We're getting good deals. So make sure to check us out. PS5. Adding to inventory. Agregando inventory ahí. Okay. Client with us. I've been a client here since 2015. Since we opened. Yeah, yeah since loyal, we loyal client. Always Before comes the here. Newark store. Before the Newark store. Newark was 2019. Right. So loyal client since we opened the store. He always comes here, buys cases. He bought a few phones one time. Yeah. What else? Uh, cases, tablets. Uh, the best place in Pasay County and Essex County and Bergen County, as far as you know, like yeah. repairing and you know, like you got this guy right here who's very good with the gadgets, and you know, and this guy right here, he's good, he's good, like with the technology yeah. and fixing the computers. And uh, iPhone will be rebuilt quick over here because <laughs> these guys they know what they're doing. I got something out of this guy up, but we just bought some iPads. You want to take an iPad? Not yet. Nah, not yet. Nah, not nah. Yet. We got we got six iPads. So wait till I get paid on Friday. One iPads come through. We just got them. iPad 10, 256. And 64 gig. Talk about a few things that might be valuable to a client. And honestly, I don't care if you come to my store. I really don't. I want you to go to the store that you feel comfortable with, the store that it's gonna make you happy, feel good, and it's gonna take care of the issue that you're going there for. And if that's not us, go to the place that you think it is. I don't think any store claims to be the best because certain stores have different employees and different management and different inventory and different ways of doing things. But I wanna guide you if you do wanna repair your phone, I wanna guide you 
so that you go to the best place possible. And I think the first thing anybody would do is go on Google and type cell phone repair, right? Like near me or something along those lines. I think that's a good start. But the next thing you gotta do is check the reviews. Check how many reviews they have and check what, what like what like if it's a five star, 4.5 star business. But make sure you pay attention to the quantity of reviews. Let me give you an example. You're better off going to a store that has a 4.5 rating with a thousand reviews than a five point star, a 5.0 rating business with like, let's say 10 reviews. Why? Because now you have a thousand people that you can base your business decision on instead of just guiding yourself based on 10 people's decision or 10 people's review. So I think that's very important. Another thing that you have to look at is their social media presence. Are they relevant? Are they posting consistently? Are they genuine with their craft, right? When was the last time they posted on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, etc.? That's a good place to start as well. And I think if you do those three things, you're on the right path to finding a store or a business that will take care of you. You're working on a little battery replacement. What happens if the battery's no good? The battery's not good, it gives you a message saying you have to service it. That's when you come no, here. No, I'm saying if we replace it, then it's no good. Oh, well, if you got these batteries, you're probably gonna come here to get a replace. That's why we got the original ones. <laughs> Estamos removiendo un IC aquí de la placa base de un iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, mira quién llegó ahí. Llegaste en la, en la motora. Ven acá, para que me haga este Xbox. Que hay tiempo. Mira, Xbox, HDMI. Mira, mira, mira. Mira, que están hasta con... mucho trabajo. Mira, que están que... hasta con el vaina, mira. Mira, está con el recibo, mira, están ahí, ve. Mira. Esos son de aquí. Resuélveme eso. Vamos a meter más, no. Pero no ahora. En un ratito. <risa> <risa> en un ratito. ¿Qué fue lo que tú dijiste? Es mejor le puede poner aquí abajo. <risa> <risa> Ese no está aquí abajo. Pero muy <risa> y, no, pues. y él me dice, ¿en qué posición está la compañía? Ya, no me ponga ese debajo. <risa> Hermes, ¿qué tú dices? ¿Qué posición tú estás en la no compañía? No me ponga ese debajo. Yo soy después del último. Después del último, no ponga ese debate, que es mío, que es mío. Entonces tú eres el segundo en la compañía. Gracias a Dios. Mejor que Wilke. No, no sé quién es ese, en verdad. Ese es el de la ferry. No, pero gracias a Dios, gracias a Dios estamos aprendiendo. Chao, Eso no. es lo que me gusta de ti. No, no estamos aprendiendo. ¿Cómo, cómo que no? No me mire me dice tampoco. Dije que, que ya tú sabes. Estamos en una labor donde nosotros estamos destacando. No va todo el año prácticamente. <risa> Resolviendo los problemas que, que llegue. Resolviendo todo lo que llegue. El aquí del año. Estamos resolviendo. El estamos segundo en la compañía. Después estamos de Cora, estamos de haciendo el trabajo. Estamos haciendo, que es lo importante. Okay. Estamos en toque de Wire en la compañía. Ya. Yeah. No hay que decir más nada, a lo mejor era lo mismo. Tú sabes que cuando hay una clasificación siempre hay un número cero. Ahí está. ¿Cómo fue? Cuando hay clasificaciones, siempre está el champion. Cuéntame tu unidad, que es de Python, que el mío se me corre. Déjame verlo, quítalo de ahí, el IC afuera. Uf, uf. ¿Qué tiene eso? Fue mojado. Déjame ver. ¿Qué es? ¿Un PlayStation qué? PlayStation 5. Pero al parecer se cayó como en lodo o algo así. No sé si bien. One lesson that I learned this week is that sometimes you have something set in your mind. You have a program set for yourself and other things happen that kind of divert you from whatever it is that you had in mind. With that being said, if you ever had plans and those plans didn't go your way, don't be disappointed that it didn't go your way. Just think about the fact that there's other plans that happened that were better off unsaid than said. And 
could have been information that did not lead or guide you to the right intended place. So just, just be grateful with anything that happens in your life and how it goes and just continue to improve and get better. So I think that's the, the biggest takeaway that I took this week. So I'll see you next week. I think next week I'm gonna start something different and I wanna start from the beginning of my entrepreneurial career all the way from the beginning. I'm gonna take all the way back and leading forward and then into the future. So I have a lot of cool stuff, cool things. I wanna do a giveaway. I wanna give away PlayStations. I want to give away phones just to keep keep you guys entertained so next week i might actually do that so stay tuned for that see you guys.